Good morning. So if you can hear me loud and clear, I'm using a mic, uh, please let me know if you can hear me. Hold on one second. Hey, okay. I feel like I'm ke now I'm getting together. Hello, hello. Can you hear me okay? Hi, Chelsea. <laughs> okay, great. Oh my gosh. Good morning. It's so good to see you. Hi. Hey, Sophia from Costa Rica. Oh, hi, Petra. Thank you. I am so happy to be back. I hope you all are doing well. So we still have about one or two minutes before we get, we'll get started. Hi Ahmed, good morning. Hey Janice, thank you so much. I'm really excited to be here today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, obviously. You guys know I haven't done a live in a while. But I don't know, there was just this, this part of me that was like, you know what, even if it's imperfect and even if I mess up and I'm nervous, I'm going to show up anyway, because that's life. You know, you just show up. Oh, thanks, Annette. Yeah, <laughs> I chopped off my hair. I'm having so much fun with it. This is my morning bed head. It's, I don't know what time it is for you, wherever you are, but it's, it's seven in the morning. So this is a roll out of bed situation. <laughs> oh, thanks, Petra. So we'll get started. So today we're going to be doing, I'm going to talk to you. I'll make sure I spend some time afterwards to talk to you, but I want to make sure we get our workout in. Uh, today is going to be a Pilates fusion. Some of it, mo majority of it is low impact, but there's some high impact, but obviously I will always give you modifications. As always, I want you to honor your body. If something doesn't feel right for you, I want you to take a break, calm it down. Because remember, one workout doesn't change your body, but one workout can hurt it. So you just want to always make sure that you're listening to yourself. What I'm asking from you always is that you're creating a cons consistent routine with your body. And everyone's needs are different. I'm just a facilitator here. You don't need any equipment. You can see I have a mat. Um, the mat is always useful when you, when we come down to the floor, uh, you want to make sure that there's nothing around you that you could hit. I've hit a wall <laughs> before, so you might notice too, I'm in a different space. Um, I moved, I'm no longer in, in my town home. So there's that. And then, oh, someone's here in Moscow. Wow. 5 p.m. Yeah, you can work out with me. It's not too late. Uh, also, shoes are optional. I'm wearing shoes because we will be doing a little bit of uh, jumping. But if you don't want to wear shoes, that's up to you. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you all are here with me. Okay, we're going to start in about one, two minutes. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm using... I can't put my hair up anymore, so I'm using these just to keep the hair out of my face. Hopefully it works. Okay. All right.
I'm gonna have my computer open here so I can come back to you. If you wanna make sure that you have some water. All right, let me get my timer. I use my stepdaughter's, <laughs> this is her study timer so she knows how long when she's done reading but I found that it works really well for me. So checking to make sure that the mat, the mat looks a little off, but we're live, so who cares, right? All right, I'm gonna set this to 41 minutes. Uh, so let's take your legs wide. I want you to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your stomach. Close your eyes and just start to connect to your breath. And just know that I'm here. I'm doing it with you. I'm going to get out of breath with you. I'm going to feel uncomfortable with you. But remember that with that discomfort, that's where growth begins. Moving through that discomfort and knowing that you'll come out the other side with more clarity and feeling stronger than ever. Taking this moment to check in with your body, having that awareness first and foremost that you have a body being aware of its connection to the ground, how much space you're taking up, and maybe deepen your breath a little bit more here. And bending your knees, open your eyes, inhale, rise, and exhale down. Inhale, rise, Exhale down, two more. Take it up and down. Last one, take it up. Palms at the top, bring your hands to prayer, setting your intention for this routine. How do you wanna to feel today? How do you wanna show up today? And from there, start to shake it out. Hey, hey, <laughs> I've already lost a bobby pin. This is gonna go well. <laughs> and shake out those hands, deep breathing. And either regular jumping jacks or modified. Here we go, take it up. Remember, modified is always a good idea. The strongest people I know do modifieds, okay? 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Taking your legs out wide, bending into one leg, getting that stretch, reach down with the opposite hand and then alternate and stretch. So you want to be sitting back into your heels, right? So the toes are a little loose. So you're feeling that energy going backwards. You're keeping your chest up. So long spine and feel that nice stretch taking place. 10 seconds. Last five. And very good. Bring your feet in about hip width apart. They can be a little bit wider. You're gonna squat down, lifting your arms up. You're gonna see this move again, and then stand. Now with your arms, you're reaching them up by your ears, right? So you're trying to get that upper back warm up. If that feels not right for your body, just keep your hands down. You can keep them on your hips, right? You're sitting back into your heels, chest stays up and up. Keep going. 10 seconds. Very good. Now arms forward, kick your butt. Remember, this is just a warm up. We got plenty of movement today.
in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Taking your legs out to second position. So your legs are a little bit wider than your hips, right? Toes are slightly turned out. You don't want them turned all the way out, just slightly. And I want you to come down into your version of a plie. So your butt is not sticking back, right? It's sitting sort of right in between your heels. Some of you will be able to get lower. Some of you will be a little higher and start to pulse. Your shoulders are right over your hips. Good. It almost feels like your knees are going forward. You want to feel your ears right over your shoulders, right? Notice the tendency to want to go here, pull it back. On this next one, hold it down. You're going to lift one heel up, push into the big toe to the pinky toe, and then switch. So I'm just waking up your ankles and your calf muscles. Good. You might be shaking already a little bit. Let it shake, friends. Good. Feel the legs warming up, core is pulled in tight. In five, four, three, two, both heels down, stay low. We're beginning the routine. You're gonna stretch over, over, cross, cross. Go, cross, up, up, cross, cross. So your legs right now are feeling it, I'm sure. Up, up, cross, cross. Now with your arms, I want you to be deliberate, okay? Really stretch, really stretch. As you cross, twist. Up, up, cross, cross. Keep going. Up. Get low in those legs. Keep going. Ten seconds. In five, one more, and good, stand. Keep your legs wide. You're gonna bend into the left leg. So you might look opposite than me, that's okay. You're gonna rotate into a low lunge here. Now, check in with your body. Your knee's in line with your ankle. So if your left leg is forward, your left arm opens up. Hold that, find that twist. Your leg might still be feeling it. Find the strength, push into the heel, then bring that arm down, arms come up. Hold, find your balance. And let's repeat, bring it down. Open, close, lift, keep going. Woo! Who's feeling that leg? Keep going, down. And up. Finding that rotation of the spine. Five seconds here. On the next one, hold it up. Lean your body slightly forward. Step your back foot in for chair. Tailbone slightly under, reach the arms up, pulse the legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come to stand, hands to prayer. Now holding this position, you're gonna bend back down in two chair pose. The left leg was the one that was forward. Keep it like that as your right leg taps back and bring it in. Tap back, bring it in. So that leg is gonna be on fire again, right? Your job is to try to keep your hips pointed forward to keep the energy in the right place. You wanna feel about 80% of it in the heel, about 20% in the ball of the foot. Right, so the whole foot is engaged. Your front knee is not uh, coming inwards. It's actually pushing slightly out to the left, just slightly. Feel that glute turn on in five, four, three, two, come to stand. I'm gonna turn around and from here, I'm gonna place my left leg over my right. So come and join me. See that I look like an X? I'm just realizing my back is to you, but it's temporary, so here we go. So, left foot is over the right, arms stretch up to the sky, tailbone under, abs in, and slowly reach down to the floor. Now, if you can't keep your legs straight, you wanna bend your knees until you can get your hands to the floor. You're gonna feel this nice big stretch through the left side of the body. 
I want you to walk forward into a plank position. Notice that the left foot is crossed over the right, crossed under, excuse me, you're on your toes. My left hip is pointed to the floor. I'm gonna lift up into a pipe, and when I come down into that plank, I'm gonna pulse once. Lift, come down, my left hip pulses down. Up and pulse, keep going. Now, when you come into that plank, your shoulders are right over your wrists. Boop, doo 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 doo, pulse, pulse. Dun 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 dun. dun. Good, keep going. And pulse. About two more here. Let's go just one more and get ready to hold your plank. Holding your plank, left hip is pointed down to the floor. That bottom leg, that left leg is gonna tap to the right tricep and then step it back. Tap in, step it back. Now some of you are going, Kit, come on. I want you to drop down to your knees if that's the case. Left knee can still tap into the right tricep. You're still gonna get the work through the oblique. Otherwise, keep going. Exhale, tap, step it back, tap. You got it. Five, four, three, two, hold it in, and little pulse. Tap, pulse, tap, pulse. Three, two, one, drop to your knees. Now it's my left leg that has been working this whole time, so let's stick with that. Now, you're on all fours. The left leg is gonna slightly turn out to the side. So I'm gonna just angle myself so you can see that, right? See that? Boom, slightly out to the side. I'm gonna lift the leg up at a diagonal. It won't go fully straight. Drop it down. Right arm flies open to get the chest opener. Up, down, fly. Up, down, fly. So what you'll feel when the leg is pushing up at this diagonal is you're gonna feel the side of your glute here, like the, un the under part of your glute, really activate. What you wanna make sure of is that you're not sacrificing in the lower back. So imagine as though, I'm, heard, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, that 80s belt that goes around your core, right? Tighten up that 80s belt. I don't even know, you know, I'm not in, I was born in the 80s but I'm actually a 90s kid, so I'm trying to picture what I wore in the 90s. I don't even remember. Probably just soccer shorts. And up, keep going. Lift. Five seconds. And on this next one, I want you to hold that leg up at that diagonal and pulse it up. Pulse. Now notice too, your tendency to want to lean into the opposite hip. You test it, take off your right hand off the floor. Notice if you can balance as you're pulsing, right? Pull the abs in and up, lift out of that shoulder in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. You're gonna come down onto your right forearm so that your top leg, the left leg is the one that's going to be working. Bottom knee is bent, come up into a modified side plank. If this doesn't feel good for you, come on down and rest on the hip. From here, you're gonna point the foot up, flex the foot down. Point and flex, point and flex. Now, you wanna be mindful of what's happening with the trunk of your body as you're doing this. The ribs are gonna to wanna to jut out, you wanna draw them in. Your tailbone's gonna to wanna to arch, you wanna take it under. So you're just picturing this really tight corset, almost like torso as you do this move. You're lifting out of that shoulder. Do do do. I have to remember that I'm mic'd up. You can hear all of my weird noises. I'm trying to keep myself entertained. Here we go. On this next one, take that top leg, bring it in front of you. You're gonna circle it up, tap back as I just hit my wall, keep going. Up and forward, up and back. Again, keeping the tightness of the core super intact so that that outer thigh is getting the work. You're gonna feel the shoulder as well. Again, modified, you're gonna take it down here, right? Honor your body. I still feel that outer thigh even with my hip down, right? I'm getting the work. If your hip is down, can you lift up out of that bottom rib? In four, three, 
two, one, and relax. Come onto your stomach. From here, you're gonna push yourself up into a plank position. Up you go, walk your hands all the way back, and come to stand. Very good, we're gonna go into a little cardio section now. So watching me real quick, we're gonna squat to one side, a little jump, touch the floor, chest is up, hop, hop, and land on the other side. Ready, go. Now, if you do not wanna to jump today, keep going if you're jumping, I'm gonna show you the modified version. You're gonna step forward, squat, step it in, alternate, squat, step it in. Chest up, make sure that you're trying to land as softly as possible, going toe ball heel, keeping your chest up, getting as low as you can in the legs. Five seconds. And very good. Next, we have little skiers. You're gonna jump to one side, feet are about a little bit less than hip width, and then land on the other. Ready, go. Now, for those of you where jumping doesn't feel right, if you are jumping, keep going. You're gonna modify by lifting up onto your toes, land on the other side, come into a squat. Up, land, up, land, right? So you're still getting that action of up, down, up, down. Very good. 10. Here we go, three, two, one, come to stand, one more cardio move, watch me real quick. You're gonna swoop down with your hand, chest is up, and alternate into that side lunge. Ready? And go. Swoop, swoop. Now if you don't wanna jump, it's a simple side step. Simple, but still not easy, right? Now, the swooping, keep going for me, the swooping. Never do I want you sacrificing your form. So I don't wanna see this rounding of the spine. Keep that chest up. Boom, boom, boom. Last 10. Five. And stand. Legs wide, toes turned out. Come down into that plie. Find your center. Catch your breath. Please, if you need water, always know that you can grab it. Honor yourself. Otherwise, here we go. Reach up, up, cross, cross. Good. Center. Abs in tight. Still get low in those legs. And cross, cross. This is waist work, right? A lot of people are like, what is this working? It is stretching the torso at the same time that you're working in rotation. It's a great toner and tightener for the core while also opening up the back. And rotation is just so healthy for the spine. Can you get lower in the, I think I just messed up there. Can you get lower in the legs? Eight seconds. In five. And good, stand, legs wide, bend into the other leg. So for me, it will be the right as we rotate into that low lunge. That same arm opens up, hold, find your space, find your center, then bring it down, arms lift up. Bring it down, open, down, lift. Now. Check in with your form, okay? Where's your front knee? Is it in line with your ankle? You don't want it behind your ankle. You don't want it over your toes. You got it. Five seconds. 
hold this up. Then from here, you're gonna step the back leg in and pulse. Woo! Good. Arms up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to stand, hands to heart. Now, we're still focusing on that right leg. You come down the back leg, the left leg steps back, step in, step back, step in. Keep going. Woo. 10. Can you get lower in that leg? Last five. And come to stand. So now your right foot is gonna cross over your left. Arms stretch up, come down for that stretch. Remember, you can bend your knees. You're trying to get that nice stretch through the iliotibial band. Then from there, you're gonna walk forward into your plank. You're on your toes, you're squeezing your inner thighs. You lift up and then pulse that hip down once. Lift and pulse. So now the right hip is pointing down to the floor. Tailbone is under, right? You're really being mindful of pinching that right side of your body. Feeling it go up, down. We've got about five seconds. And then we'll get ready for that hold. Here we go, one more. Hold it here. Your bottom leg taps into the left arm and back. Tap and back, tap. You got it. Shoulders back, chest draws forward. Breathe, turn your triceps in. I just had to remind myself of that. You're doing great, keep going. In five seconds, we're gonna pulse it, ready? And bring it in and pulse, pulse, pulse. Go three more, three, two, one. Drop to your hands and your knees. The same leg that was just working, right? Slightly turns out at a diagonal. Abs turn up. You're gonna kick that leg up and then fly the left arm. Kick it up and fly. So I'll turn, keep going. I need my bobby pin. <laughs> so remember, form, most important. It's almost like the energy is constantly mainly on the right side of the body, even though the leg is lifting off the ground. You try to stay centered, right? I'm not seeking perfection, right? But our intentions, we're doing our very best to have our intentions match our actions. And you're breathing. Five, get ready for the pulse. Bring the arm down, lift the leg up, and we pulse. Now remember, I'm gonna show you from the front here, my knee is outside of my hip as I pulse it up. And it's as though my heel is trying to tap the ceiling. Tap, tap, tap. Draw the abs up, maybe take the left hand off the ground. Now if that doesn't feel right, by all means, keep it down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. You're gonna come on down to the left side now so that your right leg is working. Remember, you can stay on your hip, otherwise you come on up. Point up and flex down. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Now, never should the leg get so high that you're dropping through your torso. So remember what I was discussing here is the, int the intent, right? We're focusing actually on the trunk of your body and what is happening while we work the outer thigh. And for some of you, I can hear you. You're asking, is it normal to feel the bottom hip working? The answer is yes, it's absolutely working just as your shoulder is as well. 
And from here, let's go for those half circles. Bring the leg forward, half circle tap. And again, imagine as though you have this tightness, right? The torso, the hips, nothing is moving as you circle. Always knowing that you can come down and rest and come back up and join me when you're ready. Almost there. I'm feeling my bottom hip more on this side than I did on the other side. This side is a little weaker for me. That's my knee surgery side. Eight seconds. And relax. Again, come down onto your stomach. You're gonna push yourself up into a plank position. Walk yourself back. And second set of that cardio. Oh, there goes my bobby pin again. This is fun. Okay, so we go side, hop, hop, and begin. <laughs> so how's your day? Anything new? Let's see, get that butt back, chest up. I'm not as concerned about you touching the floor, right? I'm more about what's happening with your legs, what's happening with your spine, right? We're not rounding. I know I sound like a broken record. So important, 10 seconds. Last one and rest. Oh, I'm out of breath, I love it. Downhill skiing, do, do, do. ready, and go. So those of you who want more, you take more. You maybe jump wider, right? Safety is key though, right? Make sure that you can't slip. Make sure that mat is not going anywhere. Whew, I feel that. Last 10. Last five. And stand, oh my gosh. Okay, next one. Scoop it up, ready? And go. Woo. As hard as this is for me to talk and look at the timer and be aware spatially where I am on the screen and be out of breath, it's so humbling, right? I just keep telling myself, how I feel at the end will make it worth it. To know that I've shown up for you today makes it worth it, even imperfect. That's all I ask is that I show up and that you show up. Eight seconds. Woo. Five. And rest. Oh my gosh. Okay, grab some water, I'm gonna do that. That's all your standing exercises today. So if you wanna come on down, if you have shoes on, if you wanna take them off, you can. That felt good. Think about it. The only time your heart rate goes up is when you're afraid, you're anxious, or when you're working out. So it makes total sense why there's a fear around this feeling, right? But this is where we bring in that higher power of ours, where we say, I am safe. This is for the betterment of me. Breathe, all is well, right? All right, come on down. And come down onto your back. Actually, I'm gonna turn this way so the mic is not showing, come on down. All right, with your legs up in tabletop position, point your toes, knees in line with your hips, abs in tight, both heels tap down, exhale, draw in. Those of you wanting a little bit more, hands behind your head, you're gonna crunch every time that happens. If even both legs going down bothers your back, it is okay to do one leg at a time. If that even doesn't feel right, start with your feet down and then draw one knee up at a time and just feel that stabilization of the hips and the lower abs working. Do what works for you. Very nice. 
in five, four, three, two, hold your legs up. Extend one leg, drop your head down to give yourself a little bit of a break. Take your arms out to the side. And I'm gonna ask my knee as well as your knee to be in line with your hip. We're gonna to wanna to draw it in, but let's not do that. I just had to remind myself. You're gonna come into a crunch position, tap behind that leg, and then bring it back down. Exhale, tap. And again, the tendency is to draw the knee in so you don't have to move as much, right? But you actually wanna challenge that upper body. You also have the option of not dropping at all, right? Staying in this lifted position. Again, if this does not feel good for your back, drop that extended leg. You also have the option of keeping your head down, right? Just feeling that intention as you contract. Very nice. Let's go for one more. Hold it up and tap, tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I want you to take that right leg back up, so the one that was bent in line, and the other leg can stay down or it can extend. Hands behind your head. You're only going to twist towards that leg and then back to center. Exhale, twist, back to center. So your abs should be feeling this about now, but remember, honor yourself, right? So if having that leg down feels better for you, that's what you do. Now, for those of you that want a little bit more, you're gonna tap that knee in as you crunch. Tap the knee in as you crunch. Good. Let's go about five more seconds here. Last one and relax. Soles of your feet together, knees wide. Arms are stretched up overhead. Now for some of us, this won't quite be the best option, so I'm gonna give you a modified version. If it's available for you today, you're gonna to reach your arms up, come up, stretch past your toes, feel this nice hip back stretch, and then roll it back down. Keep going if you can. For those of you that are having a little bit of trouble today getting all the way up, keep your legs like so if that feels okay for you. Hands behind your head. Practice just finding that core work on that lift, a little crunch and back down. And if that doesn't feel right for you today, carefully come on up to sit, soles of the feet together, stretch the arms forward for the hip stretch, roll down until you feel that core working, and then come back and tap. You have 10 seconds. <sighs> Woo! And, oh, relax, very good. Bring your legs back up. From here, legs back in tabletop. Dip the toes down and up. For those of you that added that crunch, now's your time, crunch. For those of you that want a little bit more, go for a pelvic tuck. Down, pelvic tuck. Good, you wanna make sure that when you're crunching, that although you're trying to get off to the tips of the shoulder blades, you're not tucking the chin into the chest. Keep that space between the chin and the chest. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. The left leg is going to be up, right leg is extended, arms out to the side. Crunch, tap and back, tap. Now remember, you can stay lifted. How low that leg goes is up to you. I just had to remind myself to keep my left leg in line with my hip. And as I get more tired, that's much harder, right? <sighs> Yo! Kit, remember, there is a mic right next to you. I am so sorry. <laughs> in five. Hold this up and tap it. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. So that was definitely more painful than the first round. All right, come back up. And on that note, <laughs> lift your leg back up. You can extend that leg or keep it down, hands behind your head, twist, and back to center. And then, of course, if you don't actually wanna drop the shoulders and stay lifted, you're gonna feel that pain just a little bit more. Remember, good pain, good pain. <sighs> ah, this is not easy. So glad I did this to myself. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one, and relax. 
Take your knees, rock them side to side. We're not doing a second one of those roll-ups. All right, for our final move, before we meditate, you're gonna come onto your stomach. Now, on this one, we're gonna incorporate Pilates swim with a modified push-up. So the arms are extended, the legs are extended, the back of the neck is long. You're gonna lift everything up and then alternate for swimming. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, lift your feet up, knees are down, tailbone under, push yourself up into a plank position. Give me five push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly make your way back down, extend, lift, swim. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, tailbone under, abs in, push it up. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly make it down. Last set. Here we go. Arms extended, lift up and swim. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, lift up, five push-ups go. One, two, three, make it count. Four and five, sit back into child's pose. Beautiful work. Take that breath. Big inhale, big exhale. Surrender into the floor. And slowly come on up. All right, take one leg extended out. Reach that arm up and over, big side stretch. This is like kind of an all-in-one stretch, right? Which is why I do it so much. You're getting the stretch for the back, the side, the core, the inner thigh, the hamstring. And then from here, take your chest close. So after this, we're heading into a short meditation. Please know that if you need more stretching, feel free to take it. You can also do one of my other videos. I have a 10 minute stretch and a five minute stretch on YouTube. So if afterwards you need a little bit more, please take that and switch to the other side, up and over. And close the chest. And very nice. Okay, coming to either. This is really about comfort for you. You can sit. You just wanna make sure if you're sitting that you're doing your very best to keep your spine tall. It shouldn't feel rigid though, right? It, you want it to feel nice and easy in this upright position. So maybe you can be up against a wall to feel that connection of spine. Or you can lie down onto your back if that feels best for you. So wherever you are in space, I'm gonna grab my meditation bowl. Come to close your eyes. I'm gonna do the same. So with your eyes shut, just start to relax your body. After a workout, you'll notice that the quality of your breath is that much deeper, that much more alive. Tune into that. And like we started at the beginning of your workout, just having more awareness now of your body in the space that you're in. It's connection to the floor spatially in the room.
I want you to inhale through your nose. Hold the breath at the top and I want you to squeeze your body, clench your body, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale out your mouth. Let's do two more. Inhale. And tighten, clench, squeeze. And exhale out your mouth. One more. Inhale. Tighten, squeeze. And exhale, release. And allow your breath to be natural. If you hadn't worked out, I would be doing much more controlled breathing meditation. But knowing that we've already had this connection to breath, we're going to do something a little different. I want you to picture yourself. Get an image of yourself right now with your eyes shut. And what do you look like? Maybe it's a childhood version of you. Maybe it's you now. But noticing where you are. Are you on the playground? Are you in your home? And picturing that self, I want you to quietly ask yourself, may I be vulnerable? Keep repeating that. May I be vulnerable? And now say to yourself, may I be open? And then say, may I feel safe? And then as you continue asking that question, finally ask, may I feel free? Free to be me. And with your eyes shut, Inhale through the nose, gently, softly, and exhale. Three more together. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Keeping your eyes shut, silently set an intention. no rush, open your eyes. And thank you. Thank you for joining me today. That was messy and awesome. <laughs> I hope
hope you feel good. I hope you feel more alive and more present and more in your body and just, you know, more uniquely you because that's the only obligation that you have to this world is to show up as you are and be fully empowered in that because that's a gift to this world. That's the gift you give to others is by showing up for yourself. And by doing that, you're inviting those around you, whether you're saying it or just being it, you're inviting those around you to show up for themselves as well. So I'm gonna go grab my computer so I can talk to you for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you for joining me. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, Petra. All right, I don't think there are any questions. <laughs> you know what's funny? Petra, I, no, it's no pressure on Manuel. I actually asked him recently to do it and you should have seen his face. He was like, oh man, I don't, okay. So we just have to figure out when he has time. We're both so busy. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, well, uh, thank you so, from Bulgaria, thank you so much for joining me. All right, I don't think there are any questions. I'm very grateful for you. Oh, Giuseppe, thank you. All right, everybody. Oh, Anita, sorry. <laughs> Your name is Anita. My apologies. Thank you. Bye, everyone.